hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to al's agrology mecca all right so today we are going to look at introduction to agriculture and for those of you who are just starting your cxc syllabus this is the place for you and for those of you who have been doing your agriculture science sba and going through your syllabus this is the place for you remember now to subscribe like comment and share and remember to subscribe so that you'll be the first to know and the first to share when new information is posted to al's agrology mecca all right so first of all we want to look at the definition for agriculture and agriculture can be defined as the art, the science, and the business of producing crops and livestock for economic purposes. The art, the science, and the business. Now, the performance of the operations of a farm in a skillful manner embraces the art of agriculture. Now, the science is the pursuit and application of knowledge and understanding of the natural world. Agriculture utilizes all modern technologies developed on scientific principles. And so, agriculture as a business aims at maximizing economic returns through the prudent management of land, labor, and capital these are factors of production all right so we are looking at the introduction to agriculture and these are some definition which takes in the art the science and the business of agriculture so agriculture can be defined as the cultivation of crops the breeding and raising or rearing of livestock packing or packaging processing and marketing of the products so it's much more than just farming now can you identify the art and science and also the business of agriculture in the photographs below right look how neatly these rows are drawn right the art right growing of these rearing of these chickens the business and the science in getting all of these waterers and feeders up. All right, so it's the art, science, and business of farming. All right, so also in the introduction of agriculture, there's a brief history of agriculture in the Caribbean that we want to look at. And we want to look at the period, the pre colonial period, the colonial period, and also the post colonial period right so these are periods that we want to look at in the history of agriculture now for the pre-colonial agriculture it involves native people such as the Tainas, the caribs and arawaks who does mainly fishing and subsistent farming so that is pre-colonial agriculture right mainly fishing and just farming to support themselves and they will go hunt wild animals and wild fruits and so on now during the colonial period so the colonization of the caribbean countries um during that period we have gold that were mined and these gold were brought back to spain by the spaniards so the gold was brought back to spain by the Spaniards, this was during the colonization period where the Spaniards colonized the Caribbean. At that time, sugar was a luxury, right? Sugar was king and also Britain's largest import, which made the Caribbean a prime interest. And because the Caribbean islands have plentiful sunshine, abundant rainfalls, and no extended frost or snow, which were well suited for sugarcane in um, agriculture and sugar factories, right? They also had tobaccos and rice. So these were major crops, 
right? And because of the sunshine, the rainfall, no snow, it was it was a good place for sugarcane production in the Caribbean. So in the pre-colonial period, agriculture workers worked on sugar plantations as slaves to satisfy their masters. In the colonial era, workers continued to work on the sugar plantations, but other crops such as cocoa, coffee, and bananas were introduced. Sugar, cocoa, and coffee were exported in raw forms to Britain for processing. All right, so in the post-colonial era, now we have self-sufficiency in food and imports, substitution, this was promoted to replace imported meat and milk products. After colonization, Caribbean sugar production became relatively, in, relatively expensive in comparison to other parts of the world that developed their own sugar cultivation industries, making it difficult for Caribbean sugar products to compete. As a result, the Caribbean economy diversifies into new activities, became essential to the islands, which resulted in the cooperation of other crops and other industries, such as tourism. This became very necessary as the competition grows. Agriculture is the basic industry of Jamaica. As the island possesses a wide variety of soil and climate, nearly every tropical product can be grown here. The chief economic crops are sugar, banana, citrus, cocoa, and coconut. But none of these major crops of the island is really indigenous to Jamaica. All right, so we end here and I want you to stay tuned to Al's Agrology Mecca for more information on the introduction to agriculture. Now remember to like, subscribe, and share.